Hello friends, it's time for my Thriftmas in July Vintage Christmas Treasure Hunt collab. I am hosting it and Dot Likes Red, my friend, is co-hosting. So if you haven't checked out her channel, I'd love for you to go over there and check her out. She'll be listed in the description box as well as she'll be on the playlist. And a lot of my friends are joining in this should be a great time of vintage Christmas. So are you ready? Let's get started. I found so many amazing things. A lot of it was when I was thrifting with my friend Melody. She came over for a few days and we thrifted until we dropped. So I'll show you some of that. And I also found some at a garage sale. You never know where you're gonna find vintage Christmas. So make sure and check it out anywhere you go even if it's not the season for it you want to look if you love it like i do so first i have my receipt here from the goodwill bins on 570 east waterloo road in akron and all of this stuff i'm going to show you here there's one two three four items cost me approximately 14 cents because it's a dollar 19 a pound there so let's see what 14 cents got me. I saw these two little beauties, one, oops, one right after the other. I had to dig down in, well, let me get it together here. Look how cute they are. Now they look to be identical except reverse colors. And I wanna point something out. Look at the nose, it's this little pink, uh, it looks like a the top of a fancy pin, like a vintage pin. Oh, it's so cute. These are made in Japan. They both still have their made in Japan labels. And they are ornaments. They both still have their little threads to hang them. So I can't wait to put these on my tree. And if I ever get tired of them, which I doubt, I could probably sell them for probably a nice profit since I paid 14 cents for all four items. I also got this Santa Pez and I will ease it. <laughs> I'm so excited. I can't even talk. I will either use him on my tiered tray or sell him in my booth. I can't remember if I have this one. And then are you ready for this, you guys? Now there's a piece missing, but I'm going to look to replace it. It's a bottle brush wreath. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited. See the little bulb that's missing? So I will be looking for something to replace that. I'm excited. And if you saw my last video, I went to an antique mall and they had one for $12. So that was a super good deal. All right, another bins haul. This one is from the Canton outlet on 4379 Whipple Avenue in Canton. I'll put all this information in my description box for you. And these two items cost me 10 cents. So their price was $1.59 a pound. Two ornaments and oh my dear, look, 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 how cute. And they're obviously a little set. They still have their hangers on them. There is not a lot of damage on them, if any. I mean, there's just a wee little bit of wear here, but look how cute they are. This one has a little dirt mark on, but I'll try to clean that up gently. If not, it can go in the back. Look how sweet. So how did I do for 10 cents? All right, then Melody and I went to this estate sale. It was amazing. The house was jam-packed, not very well organized. We had to kind of dig around, but you know what? That's kind of fun sometimes because you never know what you're going to find. The basement was loaded with stuff, and that's where I found these four items. I did not think to pay too much attention to what I paid because I usually look at my receipts, but I don't have that one in the bag for this stuff. So I think I paid around 50 cents an item. First, I got this little candle holder. I have seen one like this at an antique booth recently. I don't remember what it was marked, but 
This one is E3308 on the bottom, and it says in Arco, Japan. And it's a little candle holder, I can tell, because there's some wax left in the middle there. And I will just probably use him on my shelf in my kitchen along with my Santa mugs. He could fit in anywhere. My hutch, he could go on my tiered tray. But isn't his face just the sweetest? So probably up to 50 cents for that. Out of curiosity, I looked on eBay and there's one listed for $33.25, but none have sold. And I don't even think they charged me for this little house. Look how tiny it is. It's just plastic, and I think it's very old. And like I said, I don't know what they charged me for it, but it was probably pennies or free. And then, are you ready for this flocked goodness? I got this little set. Now these are a little bit worn compared to the other items I showed you, but look at them, how darling. I'm gonna show you them individually. It says on the back, oh, it's upside down, made in Hong Kong. Okay, look at the little top hat, the little spots, and then look at the eyes and that coloring on the nose. So, so sweet. And his hoofs. So you can see on the back, there's a little bit of wear. But hey, this is probably super old. So let's look at her. Look at these eyes. Oh my goodness. So, so cute. And again, kind of grimy, a little bit of dirt and a little bit of wear there. So I will gently be cleaning this up as best I can, but I don't mind a little wear on Vintage Christmas. It shows me that it's been used and loved. So how do you feel about that? Would you buy something this grimy? All right, lastly, I went to a garage sale, a whole allotment sale in Hartville, and this was the first stop, and there was the sweetest little old lady, and you may remember I showed another haul, some dish rags, um, an Avon owl, and a little green apothecary jar. That, that was the haul. You get the idea. Well, this is the rest of the stuff I bought there. I about fainted. Shiny bright. I've never found them in the wild, like a whole box like this, except for at an antique store. Now the box says, shiny bright Christmas ornaments, finest quality American made. And then this one says, Miracle Mart, which must have been a store. I've never heard of it, 79 cents. There's the tag. I know a lot of people get excited about the boxes. So these would be cute to display just stacked up the boxes for Christmas. I paid $1 per box. So these are our, these are all gold. And then I got a box of blue ones. They say the same thing on, I don't see a price tag on this one, but it's basically the same thing I would say just in blue and without the price tag. And then the last box I got is gold bulbs. And this one's a little bit bigger box and a different looking box. It says shiny bright Christmas ornaments, finest quality glass, American made. I think that's the same little bit of a different design on the side. And these were all of 97 cents. So here's the price tag. So I paid up for them to a dollar. <laughs> I paid three cents more than they were originally. I wish there was a year on these. That would be so fun. Oh, here's something on the back. It's just part of a label. I can't really read it. It doesn't give me any indication, but I can't believe I found three boxes for $3. Haven't decided if I'm gonna keep or sell, but Probably I'll put them in my booth and see what happens because I don't really need any bulbs and they're not special ones uh, like some of the shiny brights. They're just plain, but we'll see. And the last three items that I got from this sweet little old lady's garage sale are ornaments and they were five for a dollar. 
So I got this little boot and it has some of that tacky Christmas on like I like and it's got glitter. So I've never seen anything quite like this. If you have and you know anything about it, let me know in the comments. I, I'm pretty sure she said somebody in her family made this years ago. All right, then I found a knee hugger. Couldn't believe it. This is that plastic head and then the legs come up through the arms that they're, they're all one piece. You've probably seen these. We had these when I was a kid and I think we had a green one and a red one and they were a little bit bigger. And they have a twisty around the head here to hang it by. So again, five for a dollar. And then my last little ornament is Santa. Look at him. So, so cute. He's got flocked everything. <laughs> and then it looks to me like the beard is made out of a pipe cleaner material. You can see how it's wrapped around his arms and up around his head and around the bottom of his hat. And it looks like he's, I don't know, walking, I guess. At first I thought he was on ice skates, but I don't see any skates. But he looks kind of like he would be in a skating position. Or, ta-da! <laughs> Look how cute. All right, now it's going to be really hard for me to pick a favorite. But if I had to pick, I would say it's got to be this. Even though it has a piece missing, it's still my favorite. And then a close, <clears throat> excuse me, a close runner up has got to be these two deer. But honestly, I love everything I got. Now remember, you're not done and there's a whole playlist waiting for you. So make sure you go over to Dot Likes Red, watch her video, and then just continue on down the playlist. Get something to drink, sit back, relax. You can have a whole evening of entertainment. <laughs> and if you don't watch it all in one night, come back tomorrow. I would love it if you would share this playlist with a friend or friends and just have fun with it. Thank you to all of you YouTubers who took the time to join my collab and make a video for us. I'll be over there soon watching your videos. If you'd like to follow me on Instagram, I'll link that below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.